FDA banning all Juul Labs products nationwide today, saying that the company played a significant role in the rise in youth vaping. Fox 40 Zach Boeto is live in Sacramento after talking with health and legal experts about Juul's responsibility. Zach. Eric, since its launch in 2015, Juul's sleek design and USB charger revolutionized the popularity of vaping for kids. And that caused a lot of problems with kids vaping in schools and with their overall health. Well, now these jewels are coming off the shelves. Tonight, smoke shops across the country are taking down their jewel vapes and displays. It was supposed to be like, you know, a way for people that smoke cigs to stop it, but I just like, opened up a new gateway. It's been an ongoing fight between Juul and the government, who regulated flavors like mango, mint, and cucumber back in 2019. Now, all Juul products are banned in the United States. The FDA has it right on, and it's too bad it didn't happen two years ago, but better late than never. According to the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids, at its peak popularity in late 2018 and early 2019, Juul sales comprised over 70% of the e-cigarette market. And according to the National Youth Tobacco Survey, from 2017 to 2019, high school e-cigarette use increased by 135%. This had a huge impact on school districts across the nation. They're doing it in the bathrooms, in the hallways, in the school. They're getting suspended. The school's having to put on training and education. It's just been a real, real nasty situation. Health experts say not only did Juul Labs contribute to the youth vaping epidemic, but it also contributes to youth addiction to nicotine and stunting lung growth. I see patients with me and my colleagues who are admitted to the hospital with severe lung injuries requiring high doses of steroids, large amounts of oxygen. There have even been people who end up on ventilators from vaping and e-cigarette use. Juul Labs put out a statement tonight disagreeing with the FDA's decision, saying in part, they're going to appeal. However, the market has now adapted. Most moved on from Juul, and people are concerned kids will just get a hold of other vapes. I think people are always going to have like their hands on them or find some way. Yeah, it's just I think that's just going to be like a new type of thing that comes out, you know, just like how vape came out of nowhere, you know. It's the end of an era, partially responsible for the largest spike in youth vaping, but the fight to keep these products out of the hands of kids continues. So Nikki, Eric, all of these jewels and jewel pods will be tossed out tonight nationwide. But next week, here in Sacramento County, all flavored vapes and even menthol cigarettes will be banned. And if shops are caught selling them, they could face penalties. Reporting live from Sacramento, Zach Boetto, Fox 40 News.